It's time once again to turn back the clock and take a look at Swindon from a time gone by. More Swindon through the years, comparing the images from the past with those of a modern Swindon. And this time we're turning back the clock to the 1990s. It was boom time for Swindon. Expansion, conversion and improvements, all captured by the Swindon cable cameras for the weekly news programme This Is Swindon. We now look back at some of those images capturing a town in transition, frozen in time, in more Swindon Through the Years. Delving into the Swindon Cable Archive, we're turning back the clock to 1994. Another look at Swindon Through the Years. These 1994 views show the area at the bottom of Wooden Bassett Road, known as Hibbard's Yard. In the distance, on the hill, you can clearly see the old Princess Margaret Hospital. The area at the bottom of Wooden Bassett Road was a marshy piece of land known as Rushy Platte, through which the River Ray flows. Before the modern redevelopment, this was a timber yard on old farmland. The area was surrounded by embankments that carried the old Midland and South Western Junction Railway up to the station in Old Town. In 1994, the old timber yard was a ramshackle collection of broken down buildings, empty with plans being formulated to create a new industrial park. Today, those same views are impossible. The banks of the old railway line to Old Town are now lined with mature trees and hedges that prevent the same view. The route of the old railway has become a popular trail for walkers and cyclists linking Old Town to the west of Swindon. Let's use the David Mirajon Tower as a reference point between the two images across the years. It's a murky day back in 1994 as we look across the yard towards the town centre. The very same view today shows just how the area has changed with the passing of time. A new road has been added that runs from Wooden Bassett Road through to Wichelstow. The disused railway line became a cycle route between Old Town and West Swindon and when the new Wichelstow Road was built, this bridge was added to take that cycleway across the road. But back in 1994, all that was still to come. The new industrial Caneview Park means the land is now in use right up to the border with the pathway. From the old railway route, we can just about make out the roof of the old farmhouse that sat in Hibbard's yard. It's easy to forget that this pathway was once a railway, but if you look closely, there are still signs. This bridge carrying the railway up the embankment towards Old Town. The old Hibbard's Yard still houses a handful of local businesses, mostly garages and small industrial units. The name lives on. Where the timber yard once stood, new industrial units have been built, ensuring the site is busier than ever. A new modern use for a once neglected part of town, and its history almost forgotten in the modern Swindon we know so well today. It's another example of how a town transforms and adapts in a modern commercial world.
Swindon has been home to one of the country's main life insurance companies since the 1970s. The Allied Dunbar Company was founded back in 1970 and set up its headquarters in the town centre using the name Hambro Life Assurance. For many years it was based in the Signal Point building overlooking the town's railway station. Expanding, the company became Allied Hambro in 1984 and further changes saw it become Allied Dunbar in 1985. Zurich is the name we recognise today after a series of acquisitions. As one of the town's major employers, they built some of the biggest office buildings that still stand around the town. The tri-centre overlooking the bus station is listed by the council as a building of significant local interest and was built on a huge prime site right in the town centre on the old bus station site in the 1980s. Our 1994 images show the buildings were all then part of Allied Dunbar. Sadly, the nature of the business has changed and it no longer employs anywhere near the number of people that it used to. In turn, that means it doesn't need the same amount of office space. Today, many of those original buildings are empty, awaiting a new lease of life. I don't think anyone could have envisaged back in 1994 just how significant the changes would be to their business. Their UK Life building in Station Road is currently being converted into modern apartments. Its life as offices well and truly over. The proud badge of Allied Dunbar long since having been removed. Across the years, I wonder how many people poured through these doors on their way to work. The company's expansion brought huge numbers of people to Swindon. They proudly developed prime sites with huge office developments. But as we've already mentioned, even their prestigious tri-centre is no longer fully occupied on insurance company business. Signs on the buildings show how things have changed across the years. Some have been given a makeover and now have a new use. Offices for new alternative businesses, perhaps renting a floor or part of a floor rather than the whole building. Changing times and economic pressures forcing a change in the way that office accommodation is provided. So while some of Swindon's major employers downsize, you could argue it's just part of everyday business and proves once again how Swindon and its modern economy also needs to flex and adapt to modern pressures. And those changes continue apace. In 2021 for Zurich, new buildings going up on the site of the old Royal Mail Sorting Office and Queenstown School. At one point in the 1980s and the 1990s, the Swindon skyline hosted numerous cranes as buildings went up to provide enormous amounts of new office space. And in 2021, building is once again underway on behalf of the insurance company that has truly made its mark on Swindon and continues to do so. In years to come, it will be interesting to look back and see just how the use of offices continues to change to suit the modern needs of locally based companies. It's just another chapter in the history of Swindon through the years. We'll have more Swindon through the years coming soon, but in the meantime, please do remember, like, 
comment and share. We'd like to hear your memories of a changing town. And look out, more Swindle Through the Years coming soon. Music